Hey guys, welcome back. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use the new Library 3 Navigate feature to add single page functionality to your websites. So for today's demo, I have one of my projects from my uh, Laravel 10 uh, tutorial series. If you guys are interested, I will have the link to that course in the description below. But basically, uh, it's a Laravel 10 only project. And whenever I try to change pages, we are doing full page reload. And I would like to make this a single page application, right? And if you pay attention to the top left, I'm sorry if it's a bit small, guys but uh, we're doing a full page reload. So in order to take advantage of this new Navigate feature, you first obviously need to have Library 3 installed. I assume you guys already know how to do that. And then you need to find basically wherever you have links. In this case, this left sidebar for me, this is the code for it. You can go ahead and find all your A tags, right? Your anchor tags. And in order to take advantage of this Navigate feature, you need to add an attribute of wire navigate to all of them, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Now, in order for this to work, guys, you need to ensure uh, you have Liveware added to your page. So right now, I have already done this. If I go ahead and reload, it will not work for me. Now, one of the reasons is happening is Liveware only adds its assets, which is the CSS and the JavaScript, if you have a Liveware component on your page, right? So let me go for so for in this case, I don't have any Liveware components. So one thing I could do is I can technically just to show you guys how it works. I go ahead and quickly create a live warrior uh, component test just for testing purposes so right now uh, this is not working right as i'm changing pages and let me show you the html inside inspect if you go to the head there is no library code now what i will do is i'm going to go ahead and just include this new test component we created i'm going to say a live wire uh, test so this is the one we just made I'm going to go ahead and add that Liver component, go back, reload the page. And now if we look, guys, there should be some new uh, Livewire related stuff. So these are the Livewire code that we just added. It should be the one below maybe, yeah. Liver styles, right? So this wasn't here before. If I comment this out, I'll reload. There is no Livewire style over here if this actually closes for some reason it's not yet so you need to have a liver component on your page by default to actually get the liver code right so this one right now where I navigate is not working if i add the component back and i reload if you just pay attention guys now and when i click on these pages there is no page re there is no page reload so while navigate is now working because i have a liver component on the page right so if you're using full page component or you have a library component on all your pages uh, wire navigate should just work out the box now what if you don't have it like my example initially right so if i go ahead and delete this wire navigate will uh, stop working right as you can see now it's not working so the solution for this is to manually add the live wire uh, css and javascript on all your pages and the way you do it is first you need to go ahead and publish the library config so go to the library documentation under installation, if you scroll down, there is a section called publishing the configuration. There's a command for it. So just go ahead and copy this. Open up your terminal. Now I will go ahead and paste this in. I have already done this, but I'll do it again, guys. So once you have done this, uh, you should now see a new file under your config named Livewire. So it's going to be config Livewire. Open it up. I already had it open, but basically in this file, if you scroll down, there should be a section called inject assets now by default this is true and if you also read the description here it is basically saying by default livewire automatically injects its html sorry css and javascript into the head and body of the page containing library components right so if you don't have any library components it will not inject it so we need to set this to false to disable this uh, default behavior and the next step we need to go ahead and add the CSS and the JavaScript manually. So on the documentation, same documentation, scroll down a little bit, manually including live front frontend. You need to copy this uh, live wire styles, add it to the header, head tag, and then copy this live wire scripts and add it to the body, okay? So this is very important uh, to do if you're not using full page components or you don't have any live wire components on all your pages. So now that we have this, guys, if I go ahead and I reload and I try to change pages, now it is working, right? So very nice. So that's just something I wanted to show you guys to do. Now, one more thing I'd like to show you guys is, let's say in this case, uh, on my home and feed page, I have this share your ideas code 
that is shared between both of them, right? So if I go ahead and type something, something in this share idea, let's say, hello, uh, YouTube, and I still have a shared lead, right? So if I go ahead and click on feed, I lose whatever I had searched, right? Now, it, it would be nice if we actually were able to keep the state of this kind of a text box when changing pages that have this element. Well, there is a way to do it in Livewire. Let me show you guys how it is done. So I'm going to go ahead and find the code for this input box right now. I believe it is submit idea card as over, over here. So this is the HTML for this box over here, right? So in order to make it uh, not get destroyed between change it pages, page reloads, and persist it or keep it between those pages, uh, there is a blade directive that comes with Livewire 3 called uh, persist. All right, I'm going to go ahead and basically wrap it around my entire component, which is over here, right? Share your ideas. Here we have uh, share your ideas. And then you need to also add end persist, like any other blade directive, like if, you know, all those stuff. And then inside this persist, you need to give it a name, okay? Now this name is important because this is how Liver determines if this piece of HTML is actually shared between two pages, right? So if there are two HTML code with the same name, or with the same persist name on home and feed, library will not destroy them or will not reload them. So I'm going to give it a submit idea. Okay, let's go ahead and save that. Let's go back. Let's try again. I'm going to type in hello, YouTube. Now, previously, when I clicked on feed, it obviously got rid of my text input. But now if I go to feed, it's actually staying there. So it's very nice. It's a much better user experience and kind of gives a filling up a single page application, which is very nice. Okay. Now, again, this is not perfect. If I go to the terms page and then go back to feed, we lose this. That's just how it is. Okay. So that's the only issue we have, unless you actually are also adding it to the terms page, but hiding it, then maybe it will work. But at least for what it's worth, it's still quite useful, at least for navigating between home and feed. Now there is one more thing. A library also does add progress bar when you're changing pages. So if I come over here, and I set this to slow 3G and I click on home, it will also automatically add a progress bar for you guys if you like. So that's a quite a cool feature as well. All right, so there is one more thing I want to show you guys. You can also uh, automatically load pages before you actually navigate to them to speed things up. And it's quite easy to use. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So let me close this documentation link. So uh, the way this new feature works is by default, obviously, right now, we only load the page when we click on it. With this prefetching, it will actually load the page when you hover over it. So when you click on it, it's already loaded. So the you know, obviously, load time should be faster. So uh, the way you do it is you need to go ahead on your anchor tag and wherever you're using while you navigate, add dot hover to it. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that for all level links dot hover and dot hover. So let's save this. I'm going to close all the other files, guys. And now if we go back, obviously, I'm going to go ahead and have this be using slow 3G as well. So it's going to be slow. Let's check this out. So now what I'm going to do is let me reload the page again. If I go ahead, I'm going to hover over feed and you need to wait 60 milliseconds for this to take effect we can actually see it made a request in the background. Okay, so if you look at the network, it actually already has loaded the feed page, if you guys can tell. So if I click on feed, it will immediately load it for me, right? Now, without this hover feature, if I go ahead and on get rid of it for the feed page, let's reload again. And try it again. So I'll have to go to the home page. So let's set it back to slow 3G. Obviously now we don't have this hover feature. So if I hover over the feed page, nothing happens. If I click on it, you can see it's actually taking, I don't know, three, four, five seconds to load the page, right? It seems to be 3.79 seconds, right? So it can be sometimes useful to use this hover feature. Obviously it does have some drawbacks and you know, you need to be careful when you use it and when you don't use it, right? And again, if the user is just hovering over the links for no reason, you're just sending unnecessary, uh, you know, request network request, right? So right now I'm not clicking on these, but Liver sent a request to get the home and terms page, right? So you need to be careful when you use it, but it can sometimes be useful. Now, one more thing is guys, you can also use this with different layouts. 
but you do need to be careful, okay? So the way this works is if you're navigating between pages with the same HTML, sorry, with the same CSS and JavaScript, Liver will not, you know, re-render or reload those uh, CSS files and JavaScript files. But if you go to a separate layout, Liver will go ahead and add those new CSS files, but it will not delete the old CSS files. So you can have conflict of CSS or JavaScript, right? And this could break some of your functionality and UI. So what I personally recommend is if you're changing pages between layouts that are using the same, let's say, uh, core CSS, so maybe you have two layouts that both use Tailwind CSS, but you're not customizing the CSS for the Tailwind, then you should have no issues. But if you, for example, have two separate layouts, one is uh, Tailwind, one is Bootstrap, then using Wire Navigate may cause issues. In those cases, if you're navigating between the two layouts, just do a regular navigate, just don't use Wire Navigate, and then that should fix the issue, okay? And then inside, obviously, the pages that use the same layout, you can go ahead and use uh, Wire Navigate. Now, you could also face some issues with JavaScript. On the next episode, I will try to cover that and show you guys how you can fix some potential issues uh, that will come with Wire Navigate, especially if you have dropdowns or modals and things like that. They will break if you pay, change pages. So I'll see you guys on the next episode. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section below. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Have a great day. Bye.